So here we are at one of the pool projects that we're building and we're going to give you just a little bit of a tour of the process and what we do. Our projects are very different than most. We don't have a real traditional standard way of doing things like a lot of companies do. So what you're going to see is our interpretation of how to build. It's a little bit different in that we're not building a concrete pool that has a pre-made shell or a shot shell and we're, we're doing a hybridization. It's partial vinyl liner swimming pool, partial gunite swimming pool, and what you're going to see is walls there to shot and things like that. So come on down the steps and, and into the pool here. I'll give you a pretty good sense of what's here. So in a traditional gunite pool, I would be standing on cement and yet surrounded by me is cement, but I'm still on dirt. And the reason being is the main body of the, of the pool will then get a different type of cement bottom and a vinyl liner. And then all of the sun shelves and the spa and the grotto and all of that will be in fact concrete. So what we have here is as we walk down into the bottom of the pool, the plumbing in the floor is for in-floor system. That's just all prepped, bringing it through the footings and through the walls to get there. And then we have a waterfall slide spa grotto. In this particular case, we did a little theming inside. The uh, homeowner jokingly calls himself uh, Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob. So in honor of Mr. Krabs, the homeowner, we opted to do a little bit of theming inside the waterfall. So this is the inside of the cave where there will be water. When we're sitting here on the bench, the water will be basically chest high or a little bit below chest high. So what we did in here was how could we create a little bit of a sense of the crusty crab for Mr. Krabs. 